our brother in Christ and an awesome man of God, uh, was once, uh, as Danny and Marty love to say, BC before Christ wrote a song called Rico Suave. And uh, if you've ever heard that phrase, well, it starts with this gentleman. And he's going to talk about from faith to faith this morning. But guys, I want you to make welcome this morning, Brother Gerardo Mejia, our brother in Christ. How's everybody doing this morning? All right. I was going to start out with something. God just put something in my heart right now. About a, a month ago, I went to a, a men's retreat, you know, hanging out with guys. And I, my pastor's been trying to make me do this for the last four years. Man, you got to come, you got to come. And somehow I always flaked or I had something more important to do. Well, this year I, I went over there. And, you know, there's certain things, you know, as a, as a man that you kind of feel uncomfortable, like, you know, a little while ago, the holding hands, you're like, oh, holding hands, all right, let's go for it, whatever, you know. And then, uh, you, know, there's, you know, as men, you don't really, you know, I'm, as, as far as I'm a married man with, with children and my wife and everything, there's little time that I get to spend time with brothers, right? So I went on this retreat and we went up to, to Big Bear for two nights. And I go over there and, uh, you know, I was happy. I saw a lot of brothers from the church and, and it was great and, you know, it was a time of worship. But at night, it got up to me, you know, at that moment, it got a little weird. You know, I said, oh boy. You know, we, we started worshiping and this and that and, and you know, the pastor came and, and, and gave his, uh, his you know, uh, a message. And, but then, you know, it, it was like, uh, they started doing music. And we had this, like, radical band that came to perform and you know one of the guys from the church you know who's a who's, who's an incredible man in Christ but he just started going preaching yo brother you're gonna be saying I started running around I said like, what's wrong with this guy you know and then the, a couple other brothers started running around with him boom 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 right I'm like oh my goodness and I'm trying to you know just trying to praise God being quiet you know and I see my pastor come around me and he starts dancing, some weird dance. I was like, oh my goodness, man, this is getting weirder, right? And then one of the guys picked up the cross from the wall. Big one. It wasn't like a small cross. It was a big cross. And started carrying it around and running and, and everybody was praising God. It was, you know, I'm like, oh my goodness. This, you know, I was hoping that they wouldn't pull me in, right? I'm like, oh man, I did not want to go in there. So next day, again, you know, there was, there was a lot of great messages, a lot of speakers came in throughout the day, you know, we had like five Bible studies, and the next night was a time of worship, you know, and I was like, man, you know, and as soon as I got into the, into the place, I felt the Holy Spirit, I was like, okay, something's happening, and uh, I broke. It kind of makes you uh, 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 realize that uh, sometimes you're not right on. <laughs> sometimes you're more important. You're, you're more uh, concerned about what your friends are looking at. Instead of being one-on-one -on -one with God, you're concerned about things around you. You're concerned about what people are going to think about you. So that night, uh, you know, it taught me a lot. And, uh, and sure enough, I, I started praising him, and I was like, wow, and I came out of the field, and I was like, man, this is incredible, you know, and I was telling my pastor, you know, because the next day we had to leave, I was like, man, I was kind of bummed, you know, it was over in two days, you know, but I'll tell you something, man, I was telling my pastor, if we would have stayed that third day, I promise you I would have been the one carrying that cross, running around like a weirdo, man, because that's how you feel, you know. I started at 17 years old was the first time that I encountered Jesus. I was 17. And uh, it was weird. It, was, uh, it wasn't because people were talking so much and I had, you know, my parents were Christians or I had Christian friends. It wasn't nothing like that. I was the furthest from a Christian. Yeah, I, I came from a home that believed in God, but we never really, I 
remember who that was, and then my parents. And um, I, had, I have a brother, and back in those days, uh, my brother and I, didn't, we didn't get along for nothing. And I don't know if you guys got brothers that you just, when you were young, you know, you ended up, you know, fighting and this and that, and we didn't just quite get along. I love the guy, but there was something always there, you know, jealousy or whatever towards each other. So, you know, I had problems with my brother when we were young, and one day, he comes to the door on a Wednesday night, and uh, he comes in and he says, uh, he comes to the door and says, where you been? Said, you know, what are you doing so late? Wednesday. You know, he goes, uh, you know, he goes, I came from a Bible study. I was like, what? And he said, yeah, I came from a Bible study. You know? And he came in and gave me a hug. And that totally blew me away at that moment. I was like, that guy has never even shook my hand. You know, and so I was like, oh, he's doing drugs or something. You know? <laughs> And I have to tell my father he's, he's, he's doing something because, you know, he didn't. And he came in and he tried to give me a little word, but he was too, it, it, something happened in his life at that moment that he was so into it that he went on, on his own. So I let him go and I was like, whatever, you know, so what? The next day, th days go by, he starts telling me, you know, that, that he accepted the Lord, you know, that, uh, that he was a Christian now and this and that. And, you know, what was coming, it was going out through the other year to me. I was like, hey. You know, hey, you can't be changing the family around. You know, we've been this and that for so long. You know, you can't come over here and start doing this, you know. So, right away, my pride and everything that you have and, uh, you know, what you've grown up with and, we, you know, I was just totally against it. None. So, one day, he's like, he invited me, like, for every week. And I just kept on being there go, you know. I was like, nah, man, you know, whatever, but as time went by, man, I was really longing for what that my brother had in his heart. So uh, I said, listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down with you one day. I'm gonna do you a favor, all right? He said, oh, we're great, you know, let's go, whatever. So we ended up going to church on a Wednesday. And I was like, why a Wednesday? I thought it was Sunday. He said, no, it's a Wednesday, just come with me. All right? I said, I went, all right, cool. So I, we ended up going, and I remember the, the church back then, it, it was like this, you know, it was like, I was used to like, you know, the big pillars and cathedral like type of, so I was like, this is a church? And it was a big line trying to get in. It was crazy, it was tons of people trying to get in this church, trying to hear the word. You know, I was like, what is going on? I said, I have to be in a line to get in church? I'm not buying nothing, you know? So he's like, no, just, you know, come down, whatever. So we sit down and the pastor comes out. And again, I was like, why is he not wearing the, the to get up, you know, the gear. So, uh, you know, he was, he was wearing something like this. He had like a tight shirt, you know, you know this and that. He comes out and, you know, back then, um, I don't know if you guys are old, but back then, Lacoste and Polo were in, remember the shirts right here? So he was wearing one of those. I was like, what's going on? And the guy starts speaking. And that's when I shut up. So he starts talking. And he starts giving the word. And everything at that moment he was saying was hitting. Boom. Oh, I was like, oh my goodness, oh, you know. I turned over to my brother and I said, did you tell him everything that I wanted? You know, because sometimes you feel like that. You know, you think that, you know, oh. I said, he's talking to me. You know, God's, you know, at that moment, I was like, but God was talking to me at that moment. And man, sure enough, and I, you know, they made the call and, and my hands were trembling and my heart was coming out of here, but I was like, no, no, and my ego stopped me from going up there. You know, but something was planted in me because the next day, that next week, man, I couldn't wait to go back and see that guy and listen to the word again. I couldn't wait. And sure enough, that day, man, I came in and, man, I fell head first, boom, you know, and I started crying and, I, and it was incredible. It was, it was an incredible beginning, you know, to see, to, to feel something like that, to feel that love.